Hi gang! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a gingham plaid. A gingham is probably one of the simplest plaids to make. It is just four squares and nothing special about the repeat. So let's do it. I'm going to grab my rectangle tool hold down my shift key so I can make a perfect square. It doesn't matter what size you make it, just depends on the size of your repeat. I'm going to keep mine small just so the file doesn't get huge, and if I'm going to fill a flat with it, I don't need it to be big. Then I'm going to grab my pen tool, and I'm going to draw a line straight down the center. I'm going to hold my shift key to make sure it stays straight. Hit enter on your keyboard to release, and make another one going horizontally and then hit enter again. It doesn't matter if they're centered because we can select both of them now with the black arrow. Go up to a line and center them vertically and horizontally so now they are perfectly centered. Next we're going to need Pathfinder. So I'm going to go up to Window and scroll down to Pathfinder and open it up. And Pathfinder is going to let us divide this into four squares. So I'm just going to click this bottom left-hand corner, which is Pathfinder Divide. And then we're going to right-click and ungroup. So now we've got our four squares. We just need to fill them with color. Now the upper left-hand corner is going to be our white square. And the lower right-hand corner is going to be whatever color we choose to make our gingham. Let's do purple this time. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this with purple. But now we have to figure out what color to make these other two squares. They need to be a color that's midway between white and the purple. So we're going to have to use the blend tool in order to figure out what this color is going to be. I'll grab my rectangle tool again and I'm going to just draw two rectangles. One of them is going to be purple and the other one is going to be white. I'm going to go grab my blend tool, which is this one right here, the square and two circles. And we're going to click inside the purple one and then inside the white one. And it makes a blend. Now, right now, this is not what we're looking for. We're going to need to go back to the blend tool and double click on it so that we can open up blend options. Now, in blend options, we're going to change spacing from smooth color to specified steps, and we only need one. And now you can see there's only one step in between, and that step is the color that we're looking for. I'm going to click OK, and now I can go back and select one of my squares, use the eyedropper tool, shortcut is I, and copy the purple from our middle color selection. I'm going to do the same thing going to go back and select this upper right hand corner and copy the color with the eyedropper and we're almost done. The last step is to select our cube and make sure we have no stroke on it because if we leave the stroke on we're going to get a grid pattern and that's not what we're going for. With everything selected I'm just going to change the stroke to none. Now we just want to make sure that this white looking square is actually filled with white and that we didn't accidentally end up with no fill on it and mine is white. So we can select all four of our little cubes and drag them into the swatches panel. And now we've created a pattern. We don't need any of this stuff anymore so I'm going to delete it, grab my rectangle tool, draw a nice big rectangle on the screen and let's fill it with our gingham pattern. And that's the way you do it. You can make it with any color you like using the steps I just showed you. I hope you learned something new, and if you did, I'd really appreciate if you'd give the video a like. Also, if you've got any questions or requests, please add them in the comments below. See you next time.